Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. That's a good boy. That's my boy. I could do with a bite to eat. I'd like a beer. A 
I'm happy to see you again, sir. Hmm. Likewise. No doubt you have many questions. I certainly do. We will talk. Not here, however. The bulls have ears. Let's meet at the pond after sunset. You'll find me waiting by the big willow tree. I'll be there. I will expect you. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. That's a good boy. That's my boy. So here I am. What do you have to tell me? I brought you here because I did not want to cause an alarm at the tavern. I am very sorry, but you made a mistake coming here alone. And it will be your last. Wait! You wish to make your peace with God? Very well. But be quick. I just want to know why you ambushed that wagon. You make no sense. Did your accomplices not tell you when they sent you after me? Accomplices? What are you talking about? I'm here on behalf of Sir Radzi Kobila. Radzi Kobila? I do not understand. I was looking for the counterfeit coins and I still am. I would heard those men were transporting them in that wagon. When I saw you with the charcoal burners, I assumed it was they who sent you. No, definitely not. Then we have a common aim. I have also been pursuing the counterfeiters for some time. My name is Ulrich. It is true our meeting has not begun well. But if it is the truth that you are sent by Kobila, then we can assist each other. What do you mean? I found out many things, but there are still questions I cannot answer. And the last man who knew anything is now dead. What man was that? Meinhardt. The merchant from Passau. Listen, I will explain everything to you. But first, I need you to do something for me. Oh, really? You will introduce me to a certain person, and I will tell you... Who do you mean? Master Tobias Pfeiffer. 
If your jewel is served, Sir Radzik, then you must know him. I think I know who you mean. What do you want him for? I have here a written confession which tells how those forgeries are made. But I do not understand such technical matters. Master Pfeiffer, however... We'll definitely be able to make sense of it. And you'll give it to me, just like that. It seems I have little choice. This is the last lead I have. In the meantime, I will return to Sassau and see what I might learn there. Shouldn't you go with me to see Feyfar? No. I must remain in Sassau. What's your name, anyway? I told you. I... Just Ulrich. It is enough. Because you look like a knight. They seldom have just one name. It is true. I have a horse, armor, a sword, and a shield. But there are many ways to acquire... So you're not a knight? I'm a trustworthy soldier in the service of a nobleman. That is all you need to... All right, then. Ulrich. Let's leave it at that. Who are you working for? I understand why you wish to know. But this... That sounds a bit fishy. It is simply that my master does not wish to be revealed. And if we are to... Tell me what you know about the false coins. Do you know? No. What is it? A city in Bavaria. Paso is a city of trade. All the currencies in Christendom change. I see. And that would include... Some months ago, counterfeit Groschen were discovered to be circulating there. They are made from... The Paso alderman began to investigate and learned that a family of money changers was involved. They... My liege lord is allied to the Paso alderman, so they requested that he deal with the... And so he sent you? Yes. He needed a man that he could trust absolutely. And what about that wagon? I followed Menhard from Passau. I had re... So they were transporting fo... Yes. On their way here, they brought real coin. Groschen, forints, francs and the like. But now, the sacks were full of counterfeits. What do you mean about the connection with... The matter was investigated in Passau. And the executioner extracted information from those... What, in the monastery itself? I cannot say. I know only what the Paso scribe wrote down in his reports of the interrogations. Why did you let them get here before I... I wanted to discover where they hand over their coins, which I failed to do. Besides, Mainhard had an armed escort. Until he came to this godforsaken trek, I cannot guess why he... What happened on that... I ambushed them. I took down two. But that bastard man had cut the horses loose and rode away. What next? While I was chasing Manhart, those charcoal burners came and stole what they could. Before I could catch him, his horse threw him and he broke his neck. So we won't get anything out of him? Unfortunately not. What happened to Manhart? He is dead. I know, but what did he do with his body? I buried it. He was a bastard. But I... I see. And where is his... He ran from the wagon uphill along the path to the north. Along the way... And don't think I don't know why you ask. That's not it at all. If you say so. Very well. I'll go and see Master Feyfar. Godspeed. I will wait in Sasso at the vet. I could do with a bite to eat. So, I haven't spoken to him. Then why do you delay?
I am at your s Is this a Hi. For how long? Just the one. Sure. But let's see your Here you go. You'll like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud it is. Where do I go to On the upper floor of the inn. The middle room is your God be with you. To me? Wait here for me. Stay. Good boy. That's Look what I've got, your love. Good day to you. How's it looking? I'm glad to see you, Henry. I'd like to thank you again. Every oh, that's a relief. You've suffered enough. God's true. You know, the folk here are truly grateful. They'd have you and Nicodemus canonized if they could. They brought me gifts for the two of you. I wasn't keen on the idea at first. We're not left with much since the light. No, no. I can't possibly accept that. Give it all back, Melikar. With my thanks. That's kind of you. I'm glad you appreciate our situation. Things are tough, all right. 
I understand. I'm just glad everything turned out well. So am I, lad. So am I. God be with you. Greetings. What? Master Fayfar, I need to speak with you. I found... Did you really? Close to Rovna, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came... Damn and blast. Yes. A certain... Turned out he was also after the... Well, that is indeed unexpected. His name is Ulrich. He looked like a knight, but he refused to show his master's colours. Ulrich, you say? Hmm. An older man with a moustache. But for all his grey hairs, he seemed pretty... Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. He told me that the fake money was being taken to Passau in exchange for gold coin. That would explain why those fakes bear the Passau... His master is allied with the Passau alderman, and they told him to sort it all out. I wonder who could be... Be. I asked him who his liege was. We live in such strange times. In days past, knights would vie with each other to see who could extol their liege's name the loudest. And today, they take assumed names... I got the impression he was hiding his identity because his masters are odds with... That may well be. As a staunch supporter of the king, Sir Radzik has many enemies. He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they prove he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, mm -hmm. interrogation held this day, mm -hmm. put to pain by the quester. Okay. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sasso. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, but this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. We command Herr Ulrich to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Passau alderman, but they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognise the hand. It's the Clement of Kaplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. The Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. So what does all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver in silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm, you're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. Where shall we meet? 
at the Inn on Sasso Market Square. How does life in Ratai suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in. But then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Radzik sides with the king. See you later. A good boy. Here. Wait here for me. Stay.
That's a good boy. That's my boy. Here. Look what I've got for you. Isn't it heavy? The armor, I mean. I've got something that needs stitching up. Could you do it for me? All right. I can't have you walking around in torn rags, can I? Show it here. Good day. I have that book from Hanush for you. Great work. Here's your well-earned reward. I've got a down payment, and the buyer will be gnawing his nails by now. I'm glad I won't let him down. Put me with you. See you later.